Trust me, I know learning Spanish can be intimidating. Where do I even begin? If you're planning on moving to Mexico, then these random Spanish words are a good place to start. For the best advice about moving to Mexico, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new episodes every Monday and Thursday. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alex, and I moved to Mexico from the U.S. in 2017. I've called Querétaro home ever since. In today's video, I'm sharing seven random Spanish words that you'll use a lot while living in Mexico. To brainstorm this list, I thought back to those first few weeks, first few months that I was living in Mexico, and I tried to remember what words I was constantly turning to Google Translate for so I could look them up because they seem to always be popping up in my daily life. As with all the content on my channel, it's my goal to help smooth out that learning curve a little bit so you can have an easier time settling into your new life in Mexico. Number one, arroba. You don't realize how many times a week you're giving out your email address until you start to do it in Spanish. A basic understanding of the Spanish alphabet should get you most of the way there, but what about the at sign? In Spanish, it's arroba. So an email address might sound something like this. A L E X arroba gmail.com. Number two, 500. Numbers are usually one of the first things that you learn in a second language, but I've found that most language learners, myself included, don't spend enough time on this very, very important topic. Numbers, so basic, I've got them down. That was most definitely, definitely me when I moved from Madrid to Mexico. But when my primary currency changed from euros to pesos, I realized that I was not the master of numbers that I thought I was. The one that really, really got me, really, really threw me for a loop is Mexico's 500 peso bill. In Spanish, 500 is 500. 500. Commit that one to memory. Bonus word. Know how to say your birth year. Especially those first few weeks, first few months that you're living in Mexico, you're going to be doing a lot of signing up and registering for stuff. And one common, common question that you'll be asked is your birth date. And that includes your birth year. I was born in 1992. So my birth year in Spanish is 1992. Number three, garrafón. Most people in Mexico drink filtered water, and the most convenient way to purchase filtered water is to buy it in a big five gallon jug. And those big five gallon jugs, you can buy them, wow, you can buy them so many places in Mexico. We, or rather should I say Taylor, buys them at the corner store right near our house. And you can definitely go in there and you can ask for agua, but with so many different types of bottles of water in a convenience store, you're going to get what you need a lot faster. You're gonna be understood a lot quicker if you say garrafón. Number four, efectivo. When you go to pay in a restaurant or at a store, the waiter or the clerk is going to ask you how you wanna pay. Now in bigger cities like Querétaro, credit cards are widely accepted, but this is still Mexico and cash is king. The first time I tried to say that I was going to pay with cash here in Mexico, my first instinct was to say dinero, which is the equivalent of saying I will pay with money. Like, of course you're going to pay with money. It's better to say efectivo or en efectivo in cash, which is actually kind of an easy one to remember because this is Mexico, cash always works, cash is effective, efectivo. If you're finding these insights helpful, the Move to Mexico membership has more practical first-hand advice to help you prepare for your new life in Mexico. When you join the Move to Mexico membership, you'll get access to exclusive Q&A videos, guest expert presentations, monthly Zoom mixers, a members-only forum, and more. I think the resources that Alex has created were so helpful. The, the monthly forums, our Q&A, our mixers are so much fun and have been so helpful and so inspiring. I recommend you check that out. Number five, Cajuela. We don't have a car here in Mexico. 
So our first few weeks, first few months when we were furnishing our apartment, we were taking Ubers, taking taxis out to the supermarket, out to stores and coming back with, with really big hauls. Inevitably, I had to ask those Uber drivers, ask those taxi drivers to open the trunk and in Spanish, in Mexican Spanish, the trunk is cajuela, cajuela. Number six, picante. Of all the random Spanish words on this list, this one is the one that I recommend committing to memory first because it, it could be a life or death matter for your taste buds. Before you order a dish or drown your food in salsa, it is a good idea to ask the waiter if whatever it is that you're about to consume is spicy, picante. I should add though that Mexicans have a very different idea of what constitutes as spicy, so even if your waiter tells you no or no mucho, please, please, please still try a little drop of that salsa, take a small bite first before going all in, cause oof, that could, that could really save you. Another bonus word, verdura. To me, this is one of the most endearing, one of the most charming things about life in Mexico. And I, I can't believe I forgot to include this on my list of 22 random things to know about living in Mexico in 2022. When you order tacos in Mexico, this happens with other food as well, but tacos is by far the most common. When you order tacos in Mexico, the person serving you will ask if you want them con or sin, with or without verdura. If you look up verdura, the direct translation is vegetable. But in Mexico, when you are at a taco stand, verdura means onions and cilantro. Number seven, provecho. Speaking of endearing things about life in Mexico, whenever you see someone eating, think, walking past a table in a restaurant or entering a store where the person behind the counter is trying to get down their meal between customers. Whenever you see a person eating, it's customary in Mexico to wish them a good meal. Provecho. Provecho is like saying bon appetit. As far as I know, there is not a word, not a saying for this in English. At least where I'm from in the US, we, we don't acknowledge other diners. Wait, 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 I've got one last bonus word for you. Salud. When you're eating with people in Mexico, you will say provecho before digging in. And when you are drinking with people in Mexico, you will say salud before you take that first sip. In Spanish, salud means health. So it's like you're toasting, you're cheersing, you're drinking buddies at good health. Salud. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps to support my channel. I'm Alex from BackpackingBrunette.com. Thanks for watching.